difficulties, but we are back. Brian will be back. All right. Some technical difficulties. <laughs> it's been a nine of it, but that's it's good though. Yeah, I was wondering the chat. It just said Google Hangouts, and I'm like, what happened? Yeah. Let me get this. Let me get a Tim in here. I have to send him like a special invite. I just have to send it to his Gmail account. Oh. He's special. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you hooked up that uh that bag, huh, Tim? Looks good. You changed it up a little bit. You moved, or you relocated your desk. I just moved the desk and moved it. I made, I tried to look a little bit more professional than just sit on the couch tonight. <laughs> oh, oh shoot. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was like a Superman. <laughs> that was crazy right there. It was loud. <laughs> I thought I fucking Hey, Brian. Sorry about that. No worries. I don't know what we were talking about. We we're gonna about to. He was about to show us a little bit of his side of his woman's. Uh, excuse me, his wife's wife display case. <laughs> excuse me, wife. Yes, wife. Wife, please. Wife. <laughs> and see, you're a big fan of Bruce Lee. Yes, I am. A big fan of Bruce Lee. Yes, watch his movies growing up. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Any Blitzway uh, Bruce Lee you own? No. Uh, I, yeah, I have the Enter Bay ones. I haven't got the, the oh, latest the ones. ones? Are, are you familiar with Arnie Kim? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Top, one of the top sculptors for Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, uh, something is wrong. I might have to adjust my... Uh... So do you actually get to keep uh, all the pieces that are made from XM and, and do you have them on display or you just don't do that? It's more business and you may buy... Keep one or two. Just give me a minute, guys. I'm just yeah, trying sure. to read my adapter, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever you did, the internet connection is like awesome now, Brian. Uh, yeah, but the power's off. I can't um, charge with the, the laptop. It might just go off anytime, man. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, there's no lag or anything. It's really good right now. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It seems to be. Uh... Oh, is it possible to do it through the mobile phone? You guys think? Yeah, I, I'm using my phone. All right. Before, yeah. Oh. I think we lost him again. XM. <laughs> <laughs> it was on XM. Oh, no, but the... It's almost like we don't even have anything to talk about with each other anymore. We do. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for Brian to get back. Well, that's the whole show tonight. That's a That's special right. guess. Hell yeah. It's really dope that he's taking time out of his day. I'm sure he's busy as fuck. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't I don't see Sideshow doing anything like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Susan did it once. <laughs> right, right, Susan, but she's she's like the the talking, you know what I mean? She Yeah, she we should all, be we doing something to happen to her. her. Exactly, yeah. that was my point. It, it took. It, it, I'm glad somebody said it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my whole point. Tim took it to another level. My bad. <laughs> it was. It was me. I'm but you don't. Reason. You don't see like the owner of Sideshow like coming out, talking to people, and be like, "This is oh, why we did this. No, this no, is no. why we did that." When his wife comes out on the show floor and shows her big ring, and she'll walk around. Where you ever met? You ever met her? You ever met her? No. She's a little chubby white woman, blonde. There's no. a fucking ring bigger than this, uh, bigger than this mic. She's like, hi, how are you? Good seeing you guys. Are you enjoying yourself here at the New York Comic Con? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Look at my money. Look at my money. Look at my money. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Look at it. Look at it. He started in a garage, you dummy. <laughs> and look, it exploded. That's ah, crazy. Well. Yeah, yeah they won't come out. But anyway. All right, What's going on, like... boys and girls? I haven't seen you guys in weeks. Yeah, man. Yo, man, I'm still mad as hell, bro. I can't Don't be mad. I'm gonna, barbecue, bro. Listen, I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna. I'm going to personally have a barbecue at your house by myself with you. 
Awesome. I'm going to bring food, take baby <laughs> pictures, and we'll do a video yeah, of bro. insults. We'll insult, <laughs> we'll insult a lot of people's new X-Men statues. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. No, that would be you by yourself. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be insulting me, my man. You'll be in a lonely party. Oh, well, well, listen, you got to be truthful about certain things. You have to point it out. I would definitely point out shit that, that I didn't like about this or anything. I I am the most truthful individual. I, you'll see it. My face will go, oh, my God, what the fuck is Yeah, this? you can't hide it. I can't hide it. I actually, absolutely can't. Like that like that Phoenix. Um... <coughs> no, what about it? <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were waiting. Hit me. So, Story Hugando, I'm playing, man. I'm I'm playing. There's nothing you can say about that Phoenix. That shit's beautiful. It is, it is. I, <laughs> I know you love it. <laughs> you both love it. Well, all three of you love it. I don't have it. He doesn't have it. He to have it. Oh, you don't have it yet? Ryan is the one. <laughs> that has it. Oh, that's a big shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm using my mobile phone. I think this would be, this, this would be perfect. Easy. To do it. Oh, yeah. Look at the right. Kuma. I can't wait to get in the Kuma. Yeah, so. Oh, look at him. He got. Yeah, he got... So I, bought, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I like the Street Fighter line. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, a little classic. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys know who these guys are. They are the. Of um, course. Common Riders. Got I got a couple of those. You got some of the. Um, the, I started off calling, collecting a lot of hot toys as well from, from the Batman series. Um, yeah. Some of yeah. the uh, uh, Warner Brothers stuff. Mm -hmm. Animated. Nice. Yeah, animated. Um, and then we have... Uh, this is actually oh. my very first statue that I collected. The Sideshow. Oh, wow. Um, Hulk vs. Spider. Oh, yeah. My favorite pieces, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is like my little uh, Bruce Lee... Shrine. Um, shrine, yes. Yeah, and I like a lot of the uh, uh, Star Wars stuff as well. Okay. Yeah. And of course, my ladies. Hey, girls. <laughs> my ladies, yes. <laughs> Just so that, you know, I'm normal, man. I'm a hot-blooded male. And, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah, upset you're wearing got, clothes uh, tonight. I've got this for, oh, for the missus. <laughs> she, has her, she has the bleach way, and then she has her, her stuff. And, and yeah, she, she gets to display her. Her things as well, so I thought that uh, we will both enjoy collecting stuff. And Brian, thank you for sharing. It's awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. What do you have on pre-order? Um, I've got. Uh, oh, and this, of course, one of my favorite statues. Right, this is the uh, the Mufisa Morrigan. It's awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, and a, and, a, well, and, a, and a big the big bat that wings way. and all stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the joint right there. Yeah, that's it. So, so yeah, uh, I think I've got. Uh, I'm ordering this art piece from. Uh, it's a new company. I think it's called House of God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a <coughs> sort of a heavy metal cover. Yeah. I know. I know what piece you're talking about. It's like a little alien thing. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a blue greenish little. Yeah. 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 We're, we're also working, we're working with them. Uh, we're we're going to produce an an Eddie statue um, from the Iron Maiden series. Mm. Not That's sure tough. how many of you are fans of that, but uh, yeah. That's what you got planned, huh? Yeah. Like it. <coughs> Brian, Brian, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait before you, Tim. I got, I'm going to go, but Brian, it's okay. a pleasure meeting you. Again, I hope to see you at the New York Comic Con. I don't know if you're coming into New York. And uh, the panel, you guys are unbelievable. Tim, you're amazing. Not a Tim, the Tim. <laughs> all right, you guys did it. Mike, good seeing you. Barbara, you, and all of you guys. Again, Brian, mm -hmm. thank you for your time. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your little tour and speaking about XM. Thank you. You convinced me. I am going to get every fucking piece from XM today. Right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, sir. I hope to see. I hope to see all of you in person in uh, New York Comic Con as well. Uh, we, I love to have pizza. Oh, and, you and will. Drink. Yeah, absolutely, right. absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, man. All, right. you, all of you. Bye. Good night, Carlos. Right. Good night, Carlos. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
So, Brian, I want to I want to talk about this thing because you put a post up yesterday, and it was probably one of my favorite posts, probably since I've been on Facebook. Mm. And I agree with your sentiment so much. Um, this is in regards to that uh, that fan. A, just say copy. Just say copy. Yeah, cat. it's a it's a fucking total copycat. And I've been pretty outspoken about like my disdain for that kind of behavior. Um, I didn't say it as eloquently as you, and I don't think I ever will. Like that was very classy, and I I appreciate that sincerely. So thank you for thank you. that thank message. You. That was really awesome. You know. Well, thank you, thank you. I I have nothing against uh, the sculptor. I mean, I think he 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 he, he did a great job. Uh, I just hope that he uh, my point to him was that there was so there's so many other ways he could show off his um, showcase his talents and. Uh, and you know stuff like this, you know, um, it's it's probably not the best way. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you like that post. Uh, I I was hesitant to post anything because you know there's always going to be a lot of haters who say, oh, you know, but you know you guys are you don't own the IP, you guys don't own Batman. Anybody can can do it. So um, but but I think so far the post has been quite well received. So I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I hope it changes a lot of minds, man, because. That kind of thing really, like, it really upsets me. And I know that internally we've all talked about that kind of thing. And, you know, it, for, for me, it really does upset me. It's like, mm-hmm. it's something that, like, truly does. Because if nothing is special, then what's the point? What's the point of any of it if you're not collecting anything that's special? It doesn't matter if there's a 1,000 or 10,000, but it needs to be its own unique thing, you know? And then the second that somebody tries to replicate that, regardless of how good it is that's not the discussion it it just it takes away from what we're all doing what's the point of all of this if i could just copy it all <laughs> just yeah. make a make a replica that looks just like it then why are why are we collecting at all to begin with so yeah yeah so i'm with you so hope you're not going to put on a mask behind you and start you know stepping <laughs> <laughs> not tonight all right all right <laughs> Just keep it cool, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't upset me like that. It upsets me in like, a, like, it, like an emotional way because I, I'm, I'm in this for the art more than anything else. You know, I, I admire what it takes to do the work because I don't have it in me. I don't have the ability to stop for hours on end and, and hyper focus on something. Like it's, I don't have that ability. I can, I can chop up my mind for the full day and do a hundred different things, but to focus hard on one thing and, and master it. So it's like, it's something I admire and that's why I collect it. You know, it's, mm. it's, you know, so it's, it's more than just like, it's just a figure, you know, I try to learn as much as I can and you know, it's, it's important to me. So you're my kind of guy. We'll Thanks man. <laughs> be, be hanging out together. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And it turns out just saying <laughs> that, like, but Tim's not just saying that because you're on the show. He he uh, called out some other people before a while ago. Well, yeah, he's <laughs> outspoken about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like somebody doing The Last Supper and just having a couple of the apostles switch chairs, you know, and saying, look at this art I just created. Yeah. <laughs> like, just do something else. There's a million things. Give him a couple of different do. hand gestures. Yeah. You know, yeah. and. As long as long as I can talk, and as long as people want to listen to that, you know, I'll I'll try to I'll try to fight the good fight. You know, who cares yeah, if it we, makes any difference. We just try our best, right? I I I'm starting to use less straws as well. I don't use any more straws now. I just drink from the cup. I save yeah. the water, right? <laughs> just one step at a, one step at a time. One yeah. Day at a time. Yeah. Change it from your your little you know locally. <laughs> Do you, do you, so you're, you're, uh, you communicate a lot with the, like the community. Uh, to, what, what am I trying to ask here? Um, there, there's some groups that are very negative and I'm not, I don't have any in mind, but I'm just saying like, I've noticed there's some groups that do get negative. Um, do you stay out of some certain groups or do you, or do you, I know you like, neg- I know you, you like constructive criticism because you've yeah. said that a, a lot of times. Yeah. Um, I, I, they, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to name any groups that I, I don't. Right, know, right, right. But, but they're, uh, 
not lately. Lately, I think it's been been a lot better. But when we first started out, uh, the first year, I think of of XM, there were certain groups that just didn't like us. You know, they 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 just felt that we were uh, kind of bastardizing the other IPs or why are we doing a samurai version of Batman and they tell us to go back to our countries and all that. You get the you get the same hater speech, you know, and we just try to stay away because um I think that's that's the that's the advice I would say, right? If 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 you're hanging around people who's just trying to put you down all day, then I guess those are the people you don't want to hang out with. Just hang out with people who who likes what you do, who's supportive and then 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 you know leverage on that strength to become better. Uh so yeah, that's uh, right. I, I, sorry sorry what do you say does that strive you to uh, produce better pieces like you know like uh, try to your pieces come out top quality as you can like you know just, does it push you to yeah make, push you uh, to take it to another level oh no uh be, no it, it well it's not really the reason why because i think when we started the business we were we were collectors right and we just wanted to make cool stuff that we would like as collectors so it was never from a business perspective or, oh, you know, because people look down on us or they're haters, we got to do better. I think uh, we don't let those things really affect us. We just focus on our job and what we have to do. Um, if I want to make a, a, a cool Batman piece, I'll just make the best out of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and we just focus on that. So, yeah, so I don't really, we don't really let those those negative stuff take, uh, bring us down. That's good. That's, no, cool. that's good. I wouldn't hear. even consider that a job. It's just like, you know, what you do is so you know you're you're so into it you know to do something that you love you know that's not even a job that's I guess like a dream job I guess you know yeah it's literally would be a dream come true for me that's like a dream come true <laughs> I don't even see it as a job oh, oh man oh man I'll tell you man if you guys ever uh, come to the studios uh, you will see that it's not a dream job man and, hey, <laughs> yeah. you, need to, you need to fight and you need to argue with with people um I, because you know what we're like a bunch of of uh, geeks right we're a bunch of nerds together and. Everybody has their own like Spider Man fighting against the, the X Men person and Superman saying that DC is better than the Marvel. So we have all these fights every day. Right? <laughs> that's like, that's like how everybody says, "Oh, you guys are like the dream couple. You both collect. Yeah, you don't want to see us, you know, when we're unboxing. It it, it turns to hell." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't and, and, um, don't <laughs> so so it's not all fun and glory. There's a lot of. Uh, you know, arguments and tantrums and refusing to eat food and all that and strikes, yeah. Yeah, because you got so much more passion, you know, into it than I guess just like a regular job. You just go do whatever you got to do. But what you do, you got a little, so much more passion into it that it's it, it really takes it to another level when you go into the office, you know, the next day, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is why um, uh, it really isn't a job for us, right? It feels more like it's, uh, like you say, man, it's, it's, it's like we're just having fun. And and uh, and sometimes when we make certain pieces, we're not trying to maximize the, the money we make out of it. We just want it to be to be good. So we don't make more just so that we can sell more or do things. Uh, I think it's very much a, uh, I, I would say that we're not very good business people. We're, we're just collectors who try to make cool stuff. So uh, we're not the best business people. Yeah. How, how do you feel about reviewers, YouTube YouTube reviewers? Reviewers, uh, well, reviewers. I mean, they they're just like any other social influencer in the sense that they do that. I mean, they, they review, they bring the news out, and they share stuff with um, the public out there. So I think they're doing, uh, well, they're doing what they should be doing, which is kind of like um, marketing stuff. Uh, but of course, uh. I mean, for us, we we one thing that I'll make it clear is that we we never give stuff uh, free free stuff to reviewers because we we feel that it would cloud the judgment. I mean, if you give something free to someone, it's it's unlikely for them to they, they will try not to say something bad about your piece, right? Because then then it will not be true review of your products because it's something for free. And if they say something not nice, they might be afraid that you would not give them the second piece next time. So we 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 try not we we don't we don't ever give any free pieces out. Uh, we insist that uh, they just buy them like regular collectors and they could review it and say anything bad about it they want to because that's how we improve. So we try to have that kind of um, uh, um, a relationship with all reviewers. Do you, do you focus, do you like to watch a lot of the reviewers when they get, get the new piece, when your new pieces come out? When, when, yeah, when we get the time, yes. I, uh, I do enjoy seeing some of the, the reviewer posts. Um, 
I, I think they all have something different to the table. Um, but so far, in terms of unboxing, I actually prefer to to look at uh, what we call uh, customers, like cli- uh, collectors from from different parts of the world, unboxing and and to see the expression, like how we would feel when we just open up our first comic book or getting a rare card from a card pack. We just want to, you know, we, we, I prefer to see that kind of um, um, reactions from different people than to keep going to a same reviewer side because then, um, you know, reviewer stuff sometimes can be a bit scripted as well. Yeah. Yeah, they're following their own kind yeah. of review process, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and this is doing their job. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But you want you want uh, you you want it to be organic as organic as possible. Yeah, I, w- I want it to be like a like a reality show where you just walk into someone's opening opening a new uh, XM piece for the first time, and you want to capture that. I want to see that, you know. Uh, and and yeah, that's yeah. something that I I will have more interest in. Yeah. So, I, I I just unboxed Storm, which was my first XM piece. This is not recent, but this is this year when it came out. And um, I had a similar problem, like a lot of people did, with the small pieces of the hair breaking. What yeah. kind of what kind of production adjustments have you guys thought about to try to mitigate that from happening in the future? Have you tried to like think about sectioning off pieces of the hair and doing it in a different material, and then when the item is complete, gluing it together? You know, like PVC strands, or that's not something you guys have thought thought about. No, that that's something that we thought about. Uh, it's not just for the storm piece as well. I think even for, um, I think that was uh, like the scorpion. Scorpion had some breakages in the tail as well. Um, so w- one of the things that we realized was that, um, like any other company, we have people that come and go, and uh, and the factory side, we actually had a, a, a change of, of of people, change of uh, workers, right. And I think some of the new newer workers, they are, they are probably a bit more inexperienced. So, so you know what? What was the real issue with the storm was it wasn't the hair. It was that that there is a specific way you have to place that piece that head uh, into um in, into the packing, right? And they pretty much they pack it the other way around. They kind of put it face down, not face up. Yeah, yeah. And so it, it created that problem because if they had packed it properly, then it would have worked. So now we've we've had another round of, of um training for for the guys and uh we've we've hired a a guy that is more in charge of ensuring packaging because the thing about packaging is that you know the, the the key people the QC people the people who paint stuff and 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 produce stuff are always the same guys but the packers are usually part timers so they come in waves because part, packing is not something that people do every day yeah, it's not a career yeah yeah. Things. Yeah, it's only when you have stuff that's going out, then you, you get people in to pack stuff. So they're always kind of freelancers and, and free, uh, part-timers. So, so they are not some people that you, you constantly train and have. Uh, and that has been a, a problem for us. So for right now, to address that problem, we've, we've hired someone full-time to oversee the packers. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so we make mistakes, man. Like everybody else, man. But we, the, the important thing is that we we've got to learn from it and, and just become better. That's really the only XM piece I've ever gotten broken. You know, the hair from Storm. I've got like twelve of them. Man. I've never had any issue with any other one, to be honest. So you had you have issues with your Storm as well? Yeah, yeah. My Storm came the same as uh, Aiden's. You know, the, with the hair, uh, str- uh, little pieces of the hair, you know, broken. Right, right. Well, I, well, I, I, well. I hope you guys can uh, contact the guys you bought from. And uh, that would be the proper way, right? Whoever buys from us that we, we can sell to, we would do a replacement. We'll make sure it gets fixed. And we hope, well, hopefully, the people that sold it to you will, will do the right thing. Yeah, the, but like I said, that's, that's really the only piece I've ever had uh, with that issue. Every other piece I've had, I've never, you know, never came on with any damages, any, anything really wrong with them, any pain flaws, any, anything. I, never, I don't have one negative really thing to say about any of the statues I've ever got from you guys. No, nah, then we just we got lucky with you then. No, but yeah, yeah but yeah, we, we we have issues as well. I I'll be the first to say we're not perfect and uh sorry sorry guys for that uh, negative experience you had with Storm. Oh no, it was it wasn't negative. It didn't even affect my overall experience. Yeah, I, I, just, I just glued it back on. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah oh, to be honest, the break is very little. 
Yeah, yeah it was man. like little strands of hair, and um, we just glued it back, and we're happy with her. And there's so know? little, you know, it, it, since her hair's white, per se, you know, you can't really tell if, it, if the tip, you know, on it uh, 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 broke a little bit because her hair's white, so you can't really notice it, you know? If her hair would have been like, let's say, like rogue's hair, brown or, or something like that, then yeah, you could tell, you know. But was with her, you can't really both tell. hits or just uh, just one of the hits though. Both, both, both. both hands, yeah. And but actually, everything else, everything, funny everything funny. else was like perfect. Yeah, yeah, and actually, I think it's the one that's screaming. Like, um, there's pieces of her hair that's so delicate. If you grab it the wrong way, you could definitely break some of the strands on it. You know, this is interesting. Let me ask you guys, right? So. So sometimes constantly we debate amongst ourselves whether do we produce the hair in PVC because in PVC it wouldn't break. Uh, but then when you hold it, you can feel the difference between the face and the hair. Um, I don't think you guys would want it to be the whole. I don't want it PVC. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> so you guys are okay with the hair being being poly resin, right? And I'm okay with the hair being poly resin. Yeah. I'd rather roll the dice and get the poly resin. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> if you could, if you could make it look, ex I like not. If you can make it look identical, make it not look like PVC, then I don't think it'd be a big deal. Oh yeah, because yeah. you gotta say PVC. That's what you no, I but think, but I you think... can tell the difference because, like, okay, Atom, we we both have the sideshow rogue, and she's got the two strands of hair in white. They're PVC, and you could automatically feel it and see it, and it moves and it jiggles, and you know. Yeah, but that's that's only when you're touching it. Yeah, that's only when you're touching it. Yeah, so I'm thinking there's there's a happy medium of certain strands being sectioned off and being made out of PVC that are of the highest risk for damage. Like those strands are the high risk of damage. It probably also is easier to paint the face without those strands in front. So there's there's probably a bunch of different steps to like why that would be beneficial to have like PVC inserts on the hair. Brian, yeah. you're raising your eyebrows because you're like, you're right. <laughs> no, you know, because because that was that, that was a funny thought we had internally. We we thought of actually, you know, usually our staff comes with uh, more than one uh, switch up portrait. We were thinking of having one in in resin and one in PVC, so people can actually see the difference. Um, but uh, we we didn't uh, we we didn't try that. I think uh, uh, the poly resin people will not be happy, and the PVC people will be saying, oh, let's just change everything to PVC. So uh, we didn't go with that model, yeah. But we, we did have this thought once to have, you know, two different heads, and one head is in PVC and one head is in, in, in resin. So you could see actually the difference between them. I mean, I don't know. I think the I think the storm here. I mean, I don't know. It's in, I don't know if you maybe agree, but it's just got so many uh, details. The way it's curled. I don't know if oh, that's beautiful. Be. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I don't know if it could be duplicated with the PVC the same way with the uh, with poly. So. I mean, I love her the way she is. I, I'm not even complaining. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah. it's, I, I think, think we learned from the packing, though. The pack, packing of that, I think we learned from it and we applied it for the Dark Phoenix. And I think so far, Dark Phoenix has been, been okay. There's, we haven't had any reports of Dark Phoenix having issues. No, yeah, I don't think I've never had any. I haven't seen any breaks. Yeah. I've never had any breakages with any of my XM pieces. So yeah, I've, I've been happy with the packaging. No, the you're, you're not allowed. Even even we have the ghost a, rider and that ghost rider, you would think, and that thing came impeccable. And it looked like they tried with my XM cable. That thing looked like it got hit with a forklift. They they managed to puncture through all of the boxes. And I don't I man, you could hit that thing with a baseball bat, and it wouldn't be easy to do that. I don't know how they did that. It's like they rammed it with a forklift or something. But the statue was fine. But yeah, the all the boxes got pierced all the way to the styrofoam. Because you know that board, it's like thick, like a board game, you know. So it's really hard to puncture. We got. I was surprised. I don't know what they did with it. <laughs> yeah, the box Luckily, the statue was fine. It was a hole in, in the in the in the brown box. It was a hole in the brown box, but nothing wrong with it. It came a mm. open. <laughs> you could actually use those boxes as a as a pedestal stand as well. It, it, it holds the, the statues pretty well. Oh really? Yeah, oh, people do that, that sometimes. Um, oh, yeah. Use it as, the, as the stand, and they put the statues on top. It looks good, too. I don't know, man. That Ghost Rider is mm -hmm. heavy. <laughs> that Ghost Rider is heavy. No, oh, Mysterio is kind of pretty heavy. Yeah, too. you know, Mysterio is really heavy. I, I, when I got Mysterio, I didn't think it was going to be so heavy, but he's, his cape is freaking heavy. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the cape, the cape. With uh, we were thinking of yeah, the cape is one of the bigger heavier pieces. Oh look, what's happening? Someone's walking to uh to his Spider-Man cushion and stuff. Oh. <laughs> no, I was walking to, walking to my store to show the hair. You know, for people who haven't seen it, that hair sculpt is absolutely insane. Yeah, that's uh, how you were showing it right now. Here. The storm. Yeah, he was, he was yeah. Just showing. The yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's on actually, like Medusa level. Like, yep. so, yeah, it is. On some of the statues, I actually like keeping the extra portraits out when I really like them. And with her, uh, I really like her other portrait, but I kept it boxed up because I was just so scared of putting it on the side and it getting, you know, hit with something or whatever. And so I have I have her other portrait back uh, boxed up. Yeah. Well, that's the good thing about PVC. You could bounce them on the floor and it wouldn't break. Here goes the head out. I don't have any worries. My doomsday. No, I, I, had somebody, I saw somebody in a video today on Facebook to get the doomsday head and throw it and roll it all over the floor. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I, I didn't see that, man. Yeah, But the doomsday looks pretty good, man. I mean, the, 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 sculpt, the sculpt is by a master sculptor. Martin Cano, yeah. right? Martin. Well, he started squishing it together until he started squishing it together. <laughs> no, yeah. it looks good. It's it's amazing. <laughs> so, Brian, no, you still have it, Michael? Yeah. What's what's the what's the projection for you guys to start coming into the U.S.? Because that's got to be something that you guys are going after. I would I would assume. What do you mean? Like, uh, what uh, come into the U.S. like worldwide, uh, like DC stuff? Just worldwide, worldwide you, stuff. You, you being you being like a full world worldwide, all your licenses, everything. Uh, if you can't talk about it, that's fine. I mean, I just wanted to ask. I, I think what he's trying to say is that a lot of people in the states love the Marvel pieces. They love they love all the one fourth pieces that you do, and they would love to see they would love to see that here. I mean, not even not even that specifically. Just to be able to to grow your company to the point where you could be fully worldwide with all your licenses. Is that something that you guys are striving for? Or are you guys just kind of content with what you're doing, keeping your head down and doing your work and, you know, let the chips fall as they may. Or is that like the long-term goal? You guys are like, yo, we're, we're going to make this, you know, worldwide for everything that we do. Uh, I, I, yeah. Well, we don't, no, I said we're not like that. We're not like business, business people. Right. So we, we kind of more of a you know keep the head low, just do the stuff we enjoy doing, and and, take, and go where the wind takes us. Um, you know, it, it, we wouldn't say no if if you know someone came to came to us and say, hey, I'm gonna give you guys go worldwide. We'll, we'll be happy to do that. To do that, but um, as of now, we we've got to recognize that as a company, we 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 still got so much to learn and so much to improve. And and uh, 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 I think we will not say no to that. You know, definitely we'll be happy to do it worldwide. By the moment, we are pretty kind of contented and happy what we're doing, and uh, we just want to just focus on keep making good stuff. And one thing I would say is that uh, uh, we we are also looking at going out of the the statue um, product as well. We're we're thinking beyond that. Uh, we we're, we're thinking about uh, uh, bringing new product lines and and. And even in the states, right? We might be thinking of running some kind of uh, experiential, uh, exam gallery uh, experience store concept to to uh, uh, you know to, to to get to know more people and, and make more new products. So yes, I I would say the game plan is yes. Obviously, we would be happy to expand, but right now for the next one or two years, uh, we're pretty contented of what we're doing and what we have. Good. Have you guys you. ever considered um, making like exclusive pieces for the statues that you've already created? You know, like add-on accessories that are sold in a limited number. You know, like a certain weapon or something from a different comic book. Oh, or oh, switch accessories. Out accessories. Um, you mean like what? Make, making uh, uh, accessories, guns, and 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 add-on packs to to, uh, to statues that we've already produced. Yes, and having like a, a limited number to it, maybe three, four hundred, whatever. And something, if somebody wanted to add on something to the statue, making a small run of a add on from you know a certain comic or certain movie or whatever. Yeah, well, we it, it, 
we did cross our mind to do some accessory stuff, uh, but it was a bit more uh, um, diff difficult to get into because uh, from a licensing point of view, um, when you make, say, a hand, a piece of a hand or a gun, it's not, it's not really kind of like um, uh, uh, licensed, right? Because it's, it's not a character. It's just part of character. But that, but yet, you you have to, you have to submit it accord, together with the character that you're trying to produce. So you can't really split them up and then sell them at different dates. You have to do it together. It's part of like the is how the deal works. Um, so if we had to do something like that, it has it has to be custom. It has to be something that is kind of uh, not tagged to any licensed characters. So you know we could do things like a telephone booth or a newspaper stand that kind of accessories, but if we try to try to do something that, that links to a character, it gets a, little, a lot more tricky. Yeah, like you could do a gun, but not a gun with like a hand holding it because then the hand is the character's hand. Yeah, and, and then, then, you know, the licensor will say, well, we, want, we need to approve that hand because it's the character's hand. And, and, if it, and, and also, if we made it at a different time, you can remember the, the cold cast porcelain is, is a natural material that is kind of... Sw swells hand, and hand shrinks. Made and hand sand, uh, sandpapered so it might not fit well uh, you know uh, every single piece might not fit that well if you just produce it separately it's better to produce it all at one go I understand but say it could be uh, something that you didn't act actually fit onto the character uh, uh, like an example would be the Black Canary from Sideshow they had like a newspaper like an easter egg where you just set it you know, I mean, it fits in, but something that you would just set on the base or something to add to the character. Oh, well, yeah, I think that, that that would be, uh, I mean, that's interesting. Uh, but you, as I mentioned, that the approval process is a bit more stringent. So whatever that interacts with a character as a product, it needs to be approved by the licensor. So eventually, if you're going to add something Easter egg to the, to the base, um, the licensor needs to know, hey, um, you should have told us earlier and we need to approve it. And then we'll, we'll need to kind of, you know, um, make sure it's all part of the whole character image. Mm. So, so it, it, actually, it actually holds up the whole approval mm. processes. So um, it's, it might not be worth it because you, you can't produce too much of it anyway. Yeah, more trouble than it's worth kind of thing. I, I understand. Hey guys, Man. I'm gonna head out. I've been up since five a.m. I can't even. Same. My, my eyes are like starting to shut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barbara, tell Ohami I said peace, peace, yo. Yeah, oh, he went to the kitchen. He heard you right now. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, bro. Brian, it was Bye. a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. <laughs> and right, bro. Take care, guys. Take care. Keep doing amazing things. Thank you so much. Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. Bye, Michael. Bye, buddy. Good night. Peace. Yo. Um, so I think uh, I'm gonna do like final thoughts at the at the end of the show. We usually do final thoughts where we talk about stuff uh, about like what we're doing and what we got going on. I've, um, the tonight's a little bit special because you're on, so we don't have to focus on each other. <laughs> focus on what we're doing. Um, I've got usually I've got statues. Some statues coming in. I'll do like a review here and there, um, but. Really, um, th this having you on was awesome because this is for the audience. It's the collector's chat. And this type of show is for like a Tim and anyone that wants to come on can come on and talk about their whatever statues they want, whatever company. And um, having you on the show is, is for these guys and for everybody else. So I want to say thank you for coming on and uh, spending a few hours with us. And no, going through. Uh I actually would thank you guys because uh, I, I didn't see as myself as a special guest. I see myself as one of the, the guys getting on a chat show, getting to know you people more, you guys giving me direct feedback about the products that we make. And uh, I thank you guys for that. What an answer, man. <laughs> You're so <laughs> good. Too, man. It's, it makes I'll me feel so good. Be, yeah, I'll be, No, no, but it's true. I'll be happy to join the chat uh, as many times as you want me to as long as uh, the, the schedule is right and happy to jump on and have a chat and catch up with you guys definitely awesome awesome, awesome. so but before we go then is there anything that you want to let anybody know in the, in the audience in the in the comments section of anything cool that you think is coming up that you that you think is cool obviously you guys have a lot of pieces coming out um but what are you most anticipated for okay so what i'm most anticipated for is the top 
secret, secret, secret project that will be revealed uh, in December this year. And it's uh, it's it's not a statue, but it should appeal to to nerds and collectors. Uh, remember what we talked about a little bit about uh, sanity having the concept of having more characters fit in a smaller space, yeah. So you get more stuff, and you know you don't take up that much display case, uh, display pay, uh, space. This the same concept applies today. So uh, I can't review too much about it, but uh, I I would lo- I would love to to be able to um to 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 get get on uh talk to you guys again when that thing is shown. To get your thoughts on that, but uh, yes, watch out for what's happening in December. It's it's something that I feel is something that no one has done before. Hopefully, by then, no one's done before. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Dark Side diorama. <laughs> and so we'll be able to see that in, in uh, New York Comic Con, right? I don't. I forget what month that was. Yeah, <clears> October. 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 Yeah. October. Yeah, we're working hard to try to get it out in time. Um, might not be painted, but uh, we, we, we hopefully get it painted in, in time. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, cool, cool. Well, with that said, you guys, um, uh, thank you guys. Thank you, everyone on the panel for asking all the great questions. Thank you, everyone in the chat um, that followed on to the next video. Um, uh, thank you, guys. Um, and have a good night, guys. Peace. Yes, thank, thank you, everybody. Have a good night, you guys. All right, it's great. Great meeting you, Brian. Take care. Have a good night.